In today's video, we're talking about how to kick a soccer ball or how to kick a football, whatever you call this beautiful game. I wanna help you have more consistent shots. Now, you're searching for this video, I'm assuming, because you're not having consistency with your shots. Sometimes it's going straight, sometimes it's going over there, sometimes it's going over there, okay? But you wanna have more consistency, you wanna hit the net more often. So I wanna help you with that. So I got three things that I want you to think about. And the first thing, it's kind of a more advanced topic, but that is, I gotta come a bit closer. I want you to talk about the physics of ball striking, okay? And what I mean by that is, in order for this ball to go straight, I have to hit straight, okay? The ball is gonna go exactly where I tell it to go. So there should never be a time when you had a shot and you're like, oh, I did everything right, but it went over there. No, you obviously didn't do everything right. This ball is only gonna do what you tell it to do, okay? So what I mean by that is, if I hit it straight in the middle, it's gonna go straight. If I hit it on this side of the ball, it's gonna spin off and go that way. If I hit it on this side of the ball, it's gonna spin off and go this way, okay? So this ball is just gonna do what you tell it. Now I want you to think, just think about like, say for example, you're playing pool, okay? You're playing pool, you're trying to hit the ball, this ball and make it go into that pocket. Well, you have to hit it on that side of the ball in order to make it go there. Well, this is the exact same thing. Or say, for example, you're playing golf, okay? If you hit the ball here, it's gonna hook and go over there. Or if you hit it here, it's gonna slice and go over there, okay? If you hit it here, it's gonna go straight down the middle, okay? So think about the physics of shooting, the physics of ball striking. So the reason I want you to think about this, number one, it's just it's gonna help you right away. You're gonna say, okay, I want it to go straight. Well, I gotta hit it straight in the middle or I want it to go to that bottom corner. I can hit it a bit more on here. I want it to go to that top corner. I can hit it more here. Okay, you're gonna understand that. That's gonna help you. But you can correct your bad shots a lot better. So for example, I hate, I hate, hate, hate pulling the ball with my right foot across my body that way or pulling the ball with my left foot across my body that way. Now, if you look at the natural tendency of a right-footed shot, it is to go across your body like that, or a left-footed shot is to go across your body like that. So unless you really focus on holding it straight, the shot's gonna wanna go that way, right? It's gonna wanna go to that far corner like that, okay? So personally, I hate missing the net that way. I would much rather miss the net that way. So instead, I know when I shoot with my right, the tendency is to hit the ball and it's gonna pull that way. Okay, so what I will do is I'll aim a bit more on this side and that will correct it and that will make sure that the ball goes straight. Let's see. Whoa! Okay, and like I said, I would much rather miss going that way than pull it that way. I absolutely hate to do that. So if that's a, a problem you have, then maybe think about that. That'll help you out right away. Okay, so next thing, we talked about the physics, is your foot technique, okay? So I'm assuming we're talking laces, strike, and guys, I have a video on my channel. It's called, um, I think it's called Six Crucial Shooting Techniques Every Player Must Know, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. But that video will teach you how to shoot in different ways. It will teach you how to curve the ball, how to chip a ball, how to scoop a ball, how to drive a ball, how to ping a ball, how to hit it with your laces. It will teach you all these different ways to shoot. Okay, so go and watch that video. But today, just talking about laces, Okay, foot technique. So if you can see my foot technique, I hope you can see my toes are pointed down in the ground. My foot is flexed, my ankle is firm. Okay, I'm not like this, I'm not loose like that. Okay, it's strong, it's flexed. Now what you wanna think about when you're hitting the ball is keeping that foot flexed and strong through the ball. Okay, so a lot of us, we have like a weak foot, a weak ankle, and we're hitting a hard ball, and we're having a really weak shot, and we're wondering why it's so weak. Well, you have to make it strong. If you have a hard foot, you're gonna have a hard shot. Okay, but just make sure when you hit the ball, when you hit the ball, your ankle doesn't go weak. Okay, a lot of us, we're flexing and then we hit and then we're weak. You want that flex strong foot through the ball. Okay, and that's gonna help you with your shooting. Okay, so think about that strong flexed foot through the ball, okay? Boom, with both feet, especially with your weaker foot. Your weaker foot, it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel unnatural. Okay, but make sure that you hit the ball nice and strong, especially with your weaker foot. Keep Weaker foot, keep those toes flexed, strong ankle, lock through the ball, through the ball. Okay, the final thing I want you to think about is your range of motion. 
Okay, and what I mean by that is when I'm shooting the ball, it should be a nice natural swinging motion like that, okay? If you were to compare, compare your strong foot to your weak foot. A lot of us, we're, are, we're shooting with our strong foot. It's a nice backswing, nice fall through, nice, nice natural swinging motion. Okay, this is where you're gonna generate a lot of power naturally without trying hard. It's this nice flowing motion like that. The thing is when we're doing nice flowing motion like that, when we're shooting with our weaker foot or our left, it looks something like this. It's like, okay, there's like no backswing and you're kind of just like limping your leg. Just, ugh, just pulling your leg. It's like so heavy and weak through the ball. There's no range of motion, okay? So you want a nice backswing, nice follow through with both feet, backswing, follow through backswing fall through okay so think about those things think about where you want to hit the ball the specific point where you want to hit the ball think about your flex foot think about nice natural backswing okay and then think about very important should always add is your body positioning okay if you want to hit the target more often and you saw that shot i just hit right there it's nothing special but it's on net. I tell my kids, my students all the time, I do not care how hard you can hit the ball. If you can hit it hard, that's great. But what's more important is if you can hit the net every time, or at least most of the time, okay? So if you wanna make sure you hit the net, you don't sky it up over there, get your body over the ball, it's so important. Whenever you're shooting, think about, okay, I gotta stay over the ball, especially if it's like a one-timer, ball's coming to you, it's coming straight at you. If you are up like this at all, it's very hard to control that ball. Make sure you get over it, and then try to make good contact. Focus on the ball. Okay, so coming back to the physics, it's impossible for me to hit the exact spot on the ball I want if I'm not focusing on the ball. Watch the ball until your foot makes contact, and you hit the ball, okay? And the same things apply with both feet, right? And that's right down the middle, but even that's fine. A shot on target is a good shot, okay? And realistically, that shot is harder for a keeper to save than a shot that's right here or right here. Okay, hard and low is the way to go. Remember that. <laughs> hard and low is the way to go, okay? So if you wanna improve your shooting, think about those things. But most importantly, you have to practice. Okay, you have to practice that shooting technique. But like I said, go to my channel, watch that video, six crucial shooting techniques that every player should know. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please like, give me a thumbs up. Please comment below. And if you have any other tips to add to those three things, I know there's lots of other things out there. If there's something that helps you specifically, please comment below and share that with other people watching this video. Please share this video on social media, share it with your friends, share it with your teammates. And thank you for watching this video on how to kick a soccer ball or how to kick a football.